video is showing you how you can check your grades on MyConnect. So of course, when you first come in to my MyConnect page, you are going to be on my homepage. And then if you look over on the left hand side, you will see grades. You're going to click that. And you're going to see this is my test student. So this is just a fake student. So they had turned in their virtual learning expectations, their photo of their work area. They did turn it in, but it was late. So you see a big, giant, late uh, bubble pop up. And also, I've not graded it yet. So you can see it's been turned in. There's a little file there, but there is no, uh, there's not a number right there. If I had graded it, instead of there being a file, there would be a number just like this one, like this 32 down here. So again, instead we just have this little file. There might be different symbols here, depending, like if you turn in, this was a photo, so that's why it's like a document file. If you had turned in a link, then there would be a little link. Someone described it as looking like a diagonal pair of glasses. Um, but basically, if you see a little symbol underscore, that means you've turned it in, but it has not yet been graded. Also, if you check right here, you see that there's a comment this is actually a comment that the test student left me. But I think that if I left you a comment, it would pop up here as well. So it says, reminder, you said I could turn it in late due to family emergency on Friday. Okay, so as a teacher, I know, oh, that's right. They had talked to me ahead of time. They asked if I could turn it in late and it worked, you know, and I said it was okay, it was a good excuse. So if you do, if I do ever say you can turn something in late, or if you ask if you do something in a slightly different way and I agree, please make sure you put a comment because in that way I can uh, make sure I don't take points away. So then when I graded this, I would make sure that I gave them 10 points because even though it was late, uh, I they had already asked for permission. Okay, so the next one, the survey and syllabus, they haven't turned in yet. So you see a giant missing bubble. And this little line means nothing has been turned in. And there's also no score. So I can always override that. And if I want to change it to a zero, you may have just noticed their grade was an A and now it's a C. So sometimes I'll put the missing score in as a zero. It, the, the um, default is that, again, it just has this little line, but sometimes I'll go and override that and put that in the zero. It does not mean that I won't update your grade when you turn it in. I'm just trying to show you that if you choose not to turn it in, this person had a, a solid A and now they have almost a C minus just by having that one assignment missing. So again, the zero is just kind of my cue to you that, oh, shoot, I better get this in so that I can earn that higher grade that I'm hoping for. Then we have this next one. Again, it was late. There's no comment on this one. So there's no, um, they did lose their late points. So they had earned, um, actually, if I check right here, you'll see the rubric. So I will grade most of your assignments on a rubric. So you see they earned full points for everything. So they did a beautiful job with their recreation, but you see just a little comment on the bottom letting me know or letting you know that it was three days late because this is a comment that I left, that it was three class days late. And so that's why they lost three points. So even though the total here says 35, in actuality, this test student only earned 32 because they lost two points for being late. This project is not, is not due yet. So there's no status saying that it's missing because it's not actually due until tomorrow evening. But they also haven't turned it in. So there's just a little line there showing they haven't turned it in. But again, it's not late yet, so that's okay. And then this last one, I know it looks like an assignment. If you scroll over though, you see this assignment pops up under the week three. If I scroll over reflections, you see extra credit pops up. So that means that that is just an extra credit assignment. So it doesn't hurt, doesn't help. If they earn a score, if they turn it in, I would put in their five points for what they earned. Uh, but if they don't turn it in, it doesn't hurt their score at all. So you see, again, this person has currently has a 73%.
And even though we'll say this is really late, even if they turn it in today, four days late, it still would bring their score up almost 11%. So um, that just shows you that you always want to um, put in your, uh, get your stuff in, even if it's late. And this shows, so if you notice over here, it says revert to actual score. So if I click that, all those little things I had added in, I'd added in a score here, um, they disappear. And now we go back down to our original score when we had the A minus. So the, you can actually, the way I just did that, you can actually override your scores and kind of do like a test score. So you see they call it a what if score. So you could say, okay, what if I earn a 35, a 35 on this one, even though I know that I can't earn any higher than a five on this one. What's my test score going to be? And oh, your test score is actually still 91%. So it's actually pretty close to what it was before. So. This, of course, is not your real grade. You're not putting in your own scores. Um, but if you click this, again, it'll go back to your original score. So you see the score here disappeared and the score here disappeared. I suggest that you check this weekly, just to maybe every weekend and do it for all your teachers, just to kind of double check and make sure that everything is printed and you're caught up.